species is said to have gone extinct when there are no known living individuals left. Of course, extinction has been happening naturally for as long as life has existed on Earth. Extinction happens naturally for a number of different reasons. For example, you could have a new species come into the area and it would outcompete the existing species. You could have natural climate change. Or you could have a big sudden disaster, for example, an asteroid, like what happened with the dinosaurs. Naturally, species exist on Earth for between 1 million to 10 million years. However, in the last 100 years or so, we've seen the natural species extinction rate go up to 100 to 1,000 times its baseline rate. In fact, some scientists think that of all the species present on Earth today, we could lose half of them by 2100. It's certainly true that whilst humans didn't invent extinction, our actions globally are making it perilously difficult for a huge number of species to survive. Humans are causing lots and lots of extinctions at the moment and for a variety of different reasons. The first is habitat loss. So for example, going to the Amazon rainforest and cutting down lots of trees to make way for agriculture. And then the second reason is over-exploitation. So this is hunting too many species, hunting them too much so that the natural birth rate is less than the death rate. But there are other causes for extinctions as well due to humans. We have pollution, there are invasive species, and then of course we've got the increasing problem of climate change. So how can we tell how at risk a particular species is? The Red List organises species and subspecies into categories, allowing us to see how threatened each one is. But why do we need biodiversity anyway? Although we can't always see it, human life and biodiversity are intimately linked. We absolutely depend on wildlife to survive. We need birds that would be able to eat insects so that we don't get huge plagues of insects. We need bees and bats to help pollinate our food. And we also need wild fish species in order to be able to um, put food on our plates. With so many species close to the brink, it's going to take a monumental human effort to prevent a catastrophic loss of biodiversity this century. So what needs to happen globally to put a stop to this escalating environmental crisis? There are two main things that really need to happen in order to be able to help avert this extinction crisis. The first is funding. We need lots and lots of money in order to be able to protect both species and their habitats. And the second thing is we really need global leaders to step up to this challenge and show us the way uh, so that we can really help avert this extinction crisis. There is no planet B. This is the one chance that we have in order to save planet Earth. We have to fight for our Earth, like our lives depend on it because they do.